Lindsay Smith is a technology expert who studies products and their makers. She is a wired woman who stays connected to the fast-changing online world. She is also the CEO of her own company called Massive Media Inc. And it is my pleasure to welcome Lindsay Smith to Studio 4 to tell us more. Thank you, Fanny. So these are all the things you're going to give to the people that you love the most this Christmas. Apparently. And we've made <laughs> you work for your supper today because yeah. we've been setting this up quickly. Yeah. I'm not sure if it all works, but we'll give it the we'll, we'll give it our best shot. Good yeah. go. Yeah, sometimes when you're setting up tech stuff in a new environment, there can be some mm -hmm. logistical challenges, but we'll uh, we'll have some fun exactly. with it anyways. Exactly. Yeah. And, and you don't have to be a geek. You can be just a game player, mm -hmm. have some fun, mm -hmm. uh, cross the ages, of course. I'm a Beatles fan. Who, who isn't a Beatles I fan? Know, My kids gotta, are Beatles fans. Yeah. Uh, the grandkids are Beatles fans. Everyone recognizes Beatles music. Mm -hmm. And we've got the Beatles Rock Special Value Edition here. It's available at, uh, at Best Buy, so that's where I've picked up most of these products. And I, I think what's important about gaming now is that it's not just it's not just um, uh, super hardcore gamers that are that are using these products with the Wii and the Xbox and the PlayStation. Um, you're getting more interactive games now. So this is Rock Band that we've got here. So this is okay. a drum set. I, I really just so that everyone knows, I tried to get Fanny. I wanted to get you up on the drums, but you didn't want to. I well, no, Why I not. Can... No, I can play the violin. I'd be better on the. I think oh, you mean this, Fanny? This one right here. Yes. Would you like that? Let's just see if we can give it a little shot. Well, I've here. never done this before. Well, let's um, see okay. if we can bring up the tutorial on here, and uh, let's do some I think training. You should. Well, I could try. I think you should play the guitar. I'm actually not very Lindsay. good at it, but it is really easy to do. Well, where's Ian? Tutorials. Here we, we go. have a producer here, here named Ian McKenzie, and he knows all. He's just antsy to get on to get set. On this. To help the and girls use this. play guitar. It's loading, though. It's loading. We got it. Hello, okay. There. So, okay. okay. So, Fanny, the way this right. works Let's is it'll then. tell you, you'll be looking at the screen, and then it'll tell you the different um, notes for the guitar. keys. And then you've got, the, see the color coding here right. on the side? Okay. So, First, lesson one, oh, we're doing a sound check. Oh, Those we need Norman Foot here. I know, hey. Yes. <laughs> He'll be on next. He's a Moni. good guitar player. Yes, there we go. So it's basically noise. doing a sound check. So, so you've got your... This, that's the, this, the string. Yeah, so it's thuzzing the strum. The strum. And then you've got your different the keys up here that you'll press. Right. And I'm not doing... Oh, see there, it wants me to press the A key. It's a bit slow. Well, how do you know that's A? It's, there's, it's it color coded. I see. Yeah, it was showing it up there for me. I didn't hear a note. Well, maybe not. Press each fret button down and strum up or down three times. You're not strumming. Oh, I'm not strumming. There we go. Oh, and you can hear it. Do you yeah. hear that going? That's the point, dear. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, but I've only played it in the real games before where you've got five people oh. around you and someone's on the drums and someone's singing into the microphone. And let me tell you, I was horrible the first few times. But, you know, you play it a little bit and you, you totally right. get used to it. So you feel like you're right in the music. And I think that's why... Um, a game like this is great for families mm. and Christmas gifts. No kidding. So if you mm. wanted to uh, play Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band or Imagine I'm or any Beatles Okay, was that a Beatles tune. song, the first one you just said? Sgt. Pepper? What is that? Sing it yeah. for me. Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. <laughs> That's great. Come on, I know you know, I know. how. I must know. Imagine there's no... <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, this is good. Uh, but uh, the drum set... Do you have uh, Yeah, you've got, sticks? we don't have them up here with us right now. Okay, but they so it's do have not like sticks. bongo drums and because the Beatles didn't bongo. No, well, they might have. You've got your drum. That was in the hotel <laughs> room. Mm. You've got your drumsticks. You've uh, got a pedal with it as well. So it's a uh, semi real rock band experience. Wow, well, there was a run on this, I know, when it first emerged. It, this is fabulous. It's fine. Because it's whole family. We mm. have a we. Mm, that's what I have, too. Is it? Yeah. And we bowl. Holding so good. I'm not kidding. Ten pin. Oh, we bowl. You are, yeah. Sober and not so sober. <laughs> and I'll tell you, when you're not so sober, Do you, you don't better bowl so or well. Worse? worse. Worse. Okay. You oh, I haven't tried it not sober. <laughs> don't hit the yeah. alley. No, it's not good. But uh, I'd love it because the young, the young ones can play, the exactly. old people can play. It's all great. Well, that's the thing about, um, yeah, with real bowling. You, I mean, unless you're 11 or 12 years old, you're starting to get to the age where you can actually lift a 10-pin mm -hmm. um, bowling ball. But when you're younger, you can't. So these types of games do make it avail um, sure. accessible to any sure, age. Sure, our 5-year-old Ray, and he's... Uh, Half the time, not on the road. Yeah. Nothing seems to happen, and he doesn't seem to care if he loses. Yeah, that's that's good. That's, that's good. That's true. That's really good. Well, this is fabulous. What would this uh, cost, approximately, an Xbox and the whole shebang? Well, okay, well, just, just the uh, Rock Band value pack with the Beatles mm -hmm. uh, is $159 at Best Buy. 
You, or you could just get this for uh, $60 or $59 or whatever it is. Right. Uh, you just want to buy it on your own and you already have the rock band set or Guitar Hero or something like that. So, okay. Yeah. And can you play other things aside from Beatles? You can. You just buy the different games. So there's like ACDC out there. I think there's a Lego rock band. There's, I mean, tons of them. Okay, Lego rock band, any of that. So you don't have to be a Beatles fan. You don't fan. have to. Nope. No, but who isn't, as I said before. I know, I mean, that's I could be showing my age. There must be a Rolling Stones. I no, I, I, I wouldn't Jagger. be surprised if there was. I didn't see one, but I wouldn't be surprised. You know what they do have at Moule? It was, I they don't know if they have any anymore. They have Mick Jagger Rolling Stones ice cube trays, which are big lips and a tongue that you can, you can make ice cubes. I'm not kidding. I just don't know how I feel about that. Well, you have to put them in a proper <laughs> drink, I guess. Or, you know, well, they have heart-shaped ice cubes <laughs> and X's and O's and all of that. Oh. But these are called the Stones Cubes. Okay. How cool is that? Okay, that is very cool. Mm -hmm. So, uh, next okay. on your list, oh, Santa got Lindsay. Tons of really cool things. Uh, one of the things I want to draw our attention to today was this is the, uh, the Palm Prix. And it came out in 2009, so it's not, it's, it, it's not like something that's just come out. But I think it's something that uh, people have totally underestimated because it goes up against the Blackberry and the Palm, and those ones always get, or sorry, the Blackberry and the iPhone. And those right. are the two small that get so much attention. Yes. Well, this is the Palm Pre. It's Palm's answer to that. And it's got the touch screen, and it's got a full keyboard on there. Okay, small so keyboard, I it, must yeah, say. Yeah, it is, Fanny. It is really small. So what I was, I was actually explaining this to someone earlier, that this is a great phone for someone who isn't in the smartphone environment yet, like mm -hmm. you, um, who's interested in perhaps getting their email and their calendar on a phone, but you're not right. quite ready to make the jump to a BlackBerry or an iPhone. Text. Oh, then this is perfect. I text like crazy, but that yeah. looks small, but it, the, I see. I can even see that. Yeah, just, you, you, you will be able to see it. And it's, it's got lots of applications, social media applications okay. on there. Uh, it's got multimedia, so you can edit pictures and take mm. video. And it, it's pretty much got everything you need. Um, and it's only $49, which is about half wow. the price. So the all the apps, market. really, almost all the apps. So what wow. does an iPhone do that that doesn't do? Okay, that is a great question. So when you're looking at the BlackBerry, the iPhone, and something like the Palm Pre, Palm Pre only has about 300 apps made for it right now, whereas mm. in comparison, um, BlackBerry has about, uh, or sorry, it's Google Android that has about 10,000, and okay. iPhone has uh, 100,000. So 100,000, less than 1,000 on here. Oh. So if you're an app person, iPhone is the way to go until Palm Pre has developed more, but mm -hmm. they're working on it and they're they're building it up. So, um, if you're in it just for like the, the fun of getting that multimedia experience and kind of testing things out, this is going right. to be a phenomenal phone for you. You don't necessarily need the whole all the bells and whistles of the iPhone no. or the BlackBerry. Um, you could start okay. with this. It's kind of and, an nice and Google's in the game. I mean, well, there's that, lots happening in the in the biz world, in yes. the tech biz world, as yeah. you know. Yeah. So this is what's happening. Tell me. Okay. Well, iPhone kind of revolutionized the way um, the mobile platform because they they created a single platform that could be put on several iPhones. Whereas before, every time a cell provider would put out or a mobile provider would put out a phone, they'd have a different platform for it. Okay. So you, you couldn't. There was no point building an app because it would just be good for that one phone. So iPhone three years ago developed this multiple pl this single platform so developers can contribute new apps to it, which is why they have 100,000. Google has been working on the same thing. So they've come out, and this is the uh, LG chocolate phone. It's got a touch screen as well as a uh, full keyboard. You'll like that one a little bit better. I love that one. Yeah, so there you go. You've got a, a, a bigger screen on it. It's got tons of apps in there. And this is called the Google Android platform. So again, it's, it's the same idea as the iPhone where you can uh, developers can submit tons of apps. Mm. You can download them for free or pay for them. And it's, like I said, it doesn't have as much selection as the iPhone, but it's still a product. And I'm really excited to see how yeah. this develops. And I like that it's horizontal. Can yeah. we get that now? This one? Yes, you or can. It's a prototype. Again, it's, okay. it's $49 and it just came out through Rogers. Mm. So, and you, I think this is available.